On the 23rd of April 2024, Onyx Books launched the Note X 3 Pro and X3 Youth. In this video, we will look at their specs and details. First off, this is a Chinese version only and is equivalent to the Note Air International series. So I assume we will be getting a Note Air 3 Pro or maybe Air 4 version soon. Books has a history of doing this kind of thing, releasing a product on their homeland first before making it available internationally. So if you're thinking of buying a Note Air, I'd suggest you wait for some time until this hits the international market as there are some nice upgrades in this one. The Onyx Books Note X3 Pro retails for 29.99 yuan, which is around 413 US dollars. It is available on JD Store, and while the website is in Chinese, I've seen some people outside China order e-readers from there using Google Translate. Like its predecessors, the screen is 10.3 inches, but unlike them, this is 300 ppi instead of 227, making it the first 10-inch tablet from Books to do so. It is using E-Ink Carta 1200 display with warm and cold front light. It is powered by a Qualcomm Octa-Core 2.4 GHz chip with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage and a 3,700 mAh battery. Of course, it has a Wacom layer for writing and drawing with 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. It will run on Android 12 with Google Play, which is another first for a books device, as most of them have been stuck on Android 11 for quite some time now. I may be mistaken, but another change is they seem to have reduced the size of the bezels too. It weighs around 395 grams and is 5.5 mm thin. The X3 Youth is a cheaper version at 19.99 yuan or $275, which is a pretty good deal for a 10.3 inch note-taking device from Books. The specs are lower than the Pro, except for the battery, which is at 4,100 milliampere. But because of this, it weighs more and is thicker at 435 grams and 6.7 millimeters respectively. Another difference with the Pro is that the screen is 227 ppi and it won't have a front light. Books claims that this increases the transparency of the screen to 92% as the front light layer has been removed. I personally don't need front light on any of my e-ink devices, but there are many who would consider this a deal breaker. It uses the same octa-core chip, but with only 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. This one will also come with Android 12 out the box and have Wacom, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB-C. Which of these two would you choose to get and why?